everyone and welcome back to episode 3 of the Runaway Teen in the Jungle series where I'll be taking part in the Runaway Teen Challenge. So we are here where we left off in the last episode. Um, we need to get Emerson to collect some more and we need to visit the marketplace I'm afraid again because the vendors were absolutely useless um, the last time we went. And he needs more supplies before we can um, travel into the jungle. So let's just have a little look around along the way and then he can gather some items. So what have we got here? Some wild black beans. That's good. We'll have those. Um, at least it's not night time this time so we can actually see what we are collecting. Um, now where did that garden go? Oh, it's here. Let's see if any of these are actually harvestable yet. Oh, they are. The potatoes are, so that's good. So we'll have those. Um, potatoes, I'm sure, will come in handy. In. Ooh, what's this little path here? Uh, minus the tree. <laughs> I don't need a tree in my... Oh, there's nothing there. What a shame. So he can harvest the potatoes. That's at least something. Um, what we want is some more rocks and things. But well, I cannot see any anywhere. How frustrating. It seems like his sole income is going to be the garden. <laughs> um, what's that? Oh, it's a stray. <laughs> I wonder what that was. Uh, we can't harvest that planting because we did that yesterday. And Oh, what is that? Oh! <gasps> Oh, he's adorable. He's called asparagus. Oh, and there's another one there. There's a cat. I want to go meet this stray. Oh, I think it's a couch potato one because it's got the relax and unwind on a couch interaction. Uh, so is he coming to greet the stray? I believe he will be. There he is. Hop along, Emerson. Quicker. So let's greet asparagus and you see he is a dog lover because I did kind of hope that we could um, gain a dog while we're here um, let's pet him and play with him I'm um, gonna ask him what's wrong maybe we should buy a food bowl and then if we see any pets that are like desperately hungry we can be like the good Samaritan and offer them some food <laughs> Emerson just became friends with asparagus. Ah, oh, oh, sugar. We should really be on the animal aspiration, shouldn't we? Yay, we're friends with one animal. Oh, we haven't got a pet in our household, but we need to get to know him, don't we, actually? Oh, we can adopt him already. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> we don't know anything about him and we can adopt him. We're not going to do that. We're going to make sure that he's not got any nasty traits. I am going to cherry pick a dog if I uh, happen to see one. Oh, he's loyal. That's good. We like loyal. Yeah, he's a couch potato, so he's lazy. He's a lazy dog. Uh, let's pet him again and get to know him. And that should have given him enough. Um, actually, we'll play again and that'll give us the rest of his fun a quick boost it's gonna be a hard life for him in the jungle i imagine that his fun and social is gonna get down quite a lot um oh we've learned that asparagus is also stubborn so that is not the ideal pet however we've made friends with him so that's cool who are you oh it's bako Yang. <laughs> right this isn't good we need to uh stay away from these sims that know who we might be uh, so let's get wandering. Did he just use his phone? Silly boy, he's not allowed. Sadly, we can't stop the interactions like that that are automatic where they just play with their phone and what have you. There might be a mod, but I am a bit opposed to adding mods to my game usually, so I'm not going to bother. Oh, while we're here, bathroom time take advantage of that and ooh, Emerson's just found a fossil 
oh wow he's got 19 potatoes and 10 black beans that's good uh, what did we get? Oh, another fossilised llama toe. I suppose 40 simoleons is better than none. Ooh, a fishing area. That could come in useful. There's at least... There's two points of fishing there, so that's good. Um, is he... St oh, he's still in the bathroom. Okay, we'll just... Have a ooh, quick mooch over here while we wait. Uh, what else can we collect? Um, oh, there, look. Hiding underneath that leaf. There's a rock to dig. Oh, and another fishing area. Oh, cool. That's good. So that's three fishing areas I've found. So that'll come in handy. And oh, look at this. Nice little uh, picnic area with a logic table. That will definitely come in handy. So we'll have to try and make a note of that. A mental note, I suppose. <laughs> right, I think we are done. Oh no, what's that? Ooh, a wild avocado tree. Perfect. We'll have that as well. Um, I'm not seeing many rocks, um, which is a little bit dis um, worrying. But, hmm, never mind. Right, so we need to go to the cantina and that is not the cantina. Where am I? Oh, <laughs> it's over here. It's fine. I found it. Um, uh, we need to go here. And actually, that didn't require me to travel. Oh, it's only if you need to go to the actual cantina. If you want to go to the marketplace, you don't need to travel. Oh, that's fantastic. That's handy. Uh, my bad for last time, making him travel. Um, who have we got here? Esteban Mata, not a local. Vendors aren't classed as locals, apparently. What are they? Do you need to like offer them a friendly introduction first? And then maybe they'll talk to you? Hmm. I'm not really sure, but look at all these items anyway that we can buy. Um, so let's have a quick look what we've got. Um, I don't think I think that's his own drink. <laughs> we've got a waterfall in a bottle, which is worth sixty-five. So we'll have one of those. Um, we've got Dr. Parker's spider repellent. Uh, Dr. Parker developed eight scientifically proven defences against those with eight legs and up to eight eyes. These defences have now been transformed into this handy spray. And they're worth 20 simoleons, so we'll get some of those. Um, apparently we already own one, so that's good. We don't need to get too many. So if we get attacked by spiders while we're out and about, uh, we can certainly um, ward them off. Um, right, we've got plasma bat bait. Why would you ever want a box of flies? If you've encountered the silver deradian plasma bat, you know why. Toss in the general direction of nearby bats to cause a distraction. Distraction. Uh, that's 45 simoleons, so we'll have one of those. Um, it's down to 326, but we will have some harvestables soon. So I think I might get another waterfall in a bottle um, and what's this guy selling oh he's got the energy drinks however I've noticed there are quite a few um, pee bushes around so so long as you don't pee in it first you can get away with sleeping in it for a nap uh, liquid rush Packed full of more energy per ounce than any other liquid. A great item to take on long hikes. Ooh, now that's 100. Now, as much as I'd like to buy that, that's too much. Um, what have we got here? Grilled cheese ready to eat. Um, and that says, The GCRE is a compact and nutritious grilled cheese sandwich for an on-the-go explorer. Use now or in a hundred years it will taste the same. Well that sounds disgusting. But actually do you know what? We can just take a plate of spoiled food um, and it'll cost us a lot less and it'll have more meals. So we don't need one of those right now. Um, what's this one? I've not seen this before. 
Faraday Fizz. This bubbly drink removes the ill effects of one too many encounters with electricity. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that costs 115. That's going to use up too much of our money. So right now, we're going to have to pass on that one. Um, I'm really not sure who I'm supposed to talk to as a local. Um, so I might have to just wait on that one. Because they are locals, but yeah. I don't know. They're adults. I don't want to do the wrong thing. Um, oh, here's the archaeology table. Um, but it appears we can't actually um, authenticate the item yet because we do not have enough skill. So we've got a few items already. Um, oh, he needs fun, but that'll have to wait. Um, so, let's get travelling to the first jungle area. I'll be back in a moment. Right, so here is where we need to go. We need to go to the Bellamissia Trailhead. So, one moment. Right, so we are at the... Oh, sorry about that. We are at the Bellamissia Trailhead. And actually, while we're just here... Um, in the spirit of gathering, does he need anything? He doesn't need the toilet or anything, so that's not needed. Um, is there anything to collect? I mean, um, that's nothing. <laughs> that's a bit of scenery. <laughs> oh, never mind. Uh, right. I can't see any rocks or anything. And oh, is that a house? Yeah. Very nice. Um, I can't see anything, but do you know what? It could be that they've not spawned yet. So let's just go back to Emerson and head on through this jungle. So first of all, oh, what's wrong with him now? Bugged in the restroom from using camping restroom. Bugs are flying around everywhere in the restroom. Ew. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> right, so... We want to have a look at this notice board. So let's read the poison awareness posting. Oops, if we remember to unpause the game, of course. So what is it going to tell us? Caution, in cases of poisoning, please consult with local sims for antidotes. Now that is why we placed in the computer. Um, Although the antidote, I think, apparently costs a thousand simoleons, so we've got no chance if we get, uh, we might have to just sell all the frogs and everything. <laughs> right, let's read the preparation checklist. It's important to prepare for the many dangers lurking in the jungle with the right adventure gear. Check the marketplace vendors to see what helpful items they are offering. The selection is always changing, so check back often. That's why we needed to go back again today, just in case there was anything else. So right, we are going on our first adventure into the jungle. Hack away, Emerson, hack away. I really don't actually like the idea of a team using a knife to do this. <laughs> but never mind, okay? We'll just go with it. It's fine. Um, oh, actually, while we're at it, let's um, breed some frogs. Uh, and we got a new one. Oh, and we should have, never mind, it doesn't matter. I should have changed the other aspiration. And actually, um, he's not gone through yet. So quick, get back onto the jungle one. Or is it this one? Mm, no, it's not that one. I think it is the jungle one. Oh no, oh no, look, we've forgotten to do it again. All right, well, we'll just go with the knowledge one because we will be finding some excavation points soon. I can't believe I forgot to change back to that aspiration. But look, see, it's paying off because he's got 1,575 points already. Oh no, what's wrong? Why did he cry? Emerson was forging through some thick 
thick vines a little too enthusiastically when his machete flew out of his hands and was lost forever in the thick jungle. Oh no! Look, see, this is why you need to buy another machete. Oh man! Ah, oh. Right, okay. Emerson stumbles upon what appears to be an abandoned campsite. Clearly, a previous adventurer has been through here, as there's the remains of a small fire and an old tattered knapsack. There might still be something valuable inside, or something dangerous. Should Emerson investigate? Ooh. Do you know what? I'm going to risk it. Let's see what happens. Search for useful gear. Emerson carefully inspects the pack and suspects a creature may have taken residence inside. He grabs a nearby stick and starts carefully probing the pack. A poisonous scorpion crawls out and scampers away into the jungle. Emerson digs through the pack and finds some useful gear inside. Oh well, at least we didn't get uh, poisoned by the scorpion. So that's something. Uh, what did we get then? Oh wow, we got some grilled cheese. That's handy. Um, that must just be all we got. We got some grilled, uh, grilled cheese ready to eat. So let's have a look around here. Oh, there's another tree. So let's harvest this avocado tree. What else can we find? Oh, look, a pea bush. Do we need anything? Do we need to pee or sleep or? No, and we're good at the minute. Oh, look, it's gone to night time again. I am sorry, he's adventuring in the night time again. Um, oh, a bridge. No, we, I don't think we want to go that way. I think I want to see what's over here first. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? This path is sealed shut and cannot be opened on this trip. Perhaps next vacation it'll open. Huh. How boring. I want to go in there. Oh no. A swarm of bees is descending on Emerson. He quickly considers his options and settles on using the Guzmania Polonis flower. It was advertised as a way to keep bees distracted. Time to see if it works. Oh! Oh, it did! Look! Ha-ha! And what's he got here? Uh, preparation perfection from distracting bees with Guzmania Polenis flower. Purchasing gear at the marketplace before setting foot in the jungle helped stave off a minor disaster. Money well spent. Fantastic. That's really good. So we've managed to uh, ward off those bees. However, I think we've just lost that item now. So <laughs> let's hope we don't see any more. Um, this is really odd. There is nothing to collect here apart from that avocado tree. And... The jungle is shut. Well, that, that doorway is shut. Um, so maybe we do have to go over the bridge. Let's go have a look um, and see what's over here. Oh, a dig site. That'll do. We'll have that. Um, um, oh, a snake. There's a snake. <gasps> oh, my word. Can they get you? Are they just like scenery or, or, or will they actually like attack you? That's a scary thought. Uh, right, so he's just uh, excavating this dig site. Which is cool. Wonder what he'll find. Oh, did we get a fossil at some point? We did. Let's extract that. A hilariously tiny T-Rex arms for 45 simoleons. That'll do. And that's good. We're back up to 426 now. Um, what's going on here? Feeling the falls. From being near a scenic waterfall, something about being in the wilderness with this beautiful waterfall really gets a sim in the mood for romance. Oh. And fresh air. Sims that love the outdoors, love being outside. That's from his um, loves being outside trait, funnily enough. <laughs> uh, so, is he going to find something in here? 
Is that fly swarming around it? He's dig, dig, digging, dig, dig, digging. And he got a artifact shaped dirt clump. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what an unusual item, but never mind. Uh, right, so what's up here? Uh, nothing very exciting. Oh, a pea bush. Ooh. And a way through. But he is actually quite hungry. So let's just... Um, let's just eat some hot dogs, because that'll fill him up a bit more. I'm a little bit concerned about his fun, because um, we haven't got anything that we can use for fun. Maybe should have got him a yoga mat or something. That might have been a good idea. But never mind. Let's speed this up and hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa there. <laughs> Right, he's finished eating. Don't eat. Oh no, I missed it. Oh man. Right, and he can have a quick nap while we're here. <laughs> Look at him napping in the bush. That is just so ridiculous. But never mind. Uh, he's... There we go. And it, then he can fertilise it. And you don't want to do it the other way around because that's pretty gross. Um, now part of me doesn't want to go in here. Uh, part of me wants to go the other way. Uh, but, no, uh, hmm. Do you know what? I think what I might do for now is get him to go back home and get his fun up. And we'll see what more supplies we can get because there's not a lot to collect in here. So we'll, I, I don't want to like explore the jungle in one go and I'm pretty sure that's not possible. Um, but let's just get him to go home. So I'll be right back. So we are back at the campsite. Um, oh, I tell you what we need is some outdoor lights. So what I might do is buy some from that guy. Because um, this is very dark and I do apologise. I didn't even think about lot lights. That was a bit of an oversight on my part. So I do apologise. Uh, Hopefully it will be daytime soon. So I'll speed it up while he reads some Wilderness Digest for a bit of fun. Uh, that's a little bit. Uh, you can read it again. Ooh, insects may seem yucky, but strange and unusual ones can be found in the deep woods. Catching the rainbow firefly would not only give you bragging rights, but you could sell it for lots of simoleons. I'm assuming that's outdoor retreat because I've never done this before and I've never seen that before. Uh, so yeah, why won't that notification go? Ah, ooh, we've got a rock to dig, so that's cool. Um, and his little plants are doing okay, but we've actually got some more. Uh, so let's plant some more while we've got them. And then that'll boost his income a little. Um, right, we don't want all black beans, I want the potatoes. Want the potatoes? Thank you. Uh, actually, do you know what? I'll do it in groups of three. So maybe we could just add in another one there and there. Now I'm assuming again that he uh, can't do any. Oh, he can uncover the artifact now. Ooh, I wonder if he can go and. Uh, Authenticate this one now at the table. Did he gain skill and I missed it? Is that what's happened? No. No, oh, he still must be a low level. I don't think he. No, he's only gained one, hasn't he? So we're nearly there. Um, where is he? Is he gone? I think he's wandered over the other side of the... He has as well. What are you doing? Don't even need to go. 
Ugh, fine. <laughs> How ridiculous. I don't usually have autonomy on either, so I don't know why he just went and did that by himself. I prefer to micromanage when I play. Um, I must admit. Uh, let's go in here. And before we buy anything else... Oh, actually, no. I'm going to end this part here, actually, because I'm already nearly over time. So, we've had a good day. We gathered a little. We bought some supplies. And we adventured for the first time into the jungle. So that was pretty cool. Um, hopefully, next time when we go, that other pathway will be open. And we can explore a bit more and hopefully gain some more artifacts and see a few more sites. Um, so I really hoped you enjoyed this episode and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.